The Eagles are the best team in the NFL and you can make an argument about it. Just look at their record and the way they win games and you'll see that they are. They are 9-1 for the second straight season in a row. You don't get to a record like that twice with just luck. The scary part about them is they haven't even played their best football yet. Philly used to be a great team back in 2017 with Carson Wentz under center and Doug Peterson coaching the team. Then Wins got injured and that was never the same. Then it was time to reset a bit. In 2020 they drafted Jalen Hurts in the second round. In his first season they still gave Wins one more try but it didn't work out as they only won four games. In 2021 with Hurts the full starter they went 9-8 and eight and barely made the playoffs. Then the reset finally paid off as they went 14-3 in 2022 had the best record in the NFL and went to the Super Bowl. Hurts developed into a great passer but he wasn't always great. Now at first he wasn't a good passer at all. He was super raw and his only strength was that he could use his legs. He was the same kind of QB as Lamar Jackson, Kyler Murray and Justin Fields. Looking to run too early instead of going through the progressions. In his rookie season Hurts started the final final four games and went one and three. In his second season, his first time being the full starter, he didn't do great, but was still able to get the Eagles to the playoffs as a wild card. Then last season, he finally took a big step forward and had his best season as a passer. He threw for over 3,700 yards and 22 touchdowns while only throwing six interceptions and added 760 rushing yards and 13 touchdowns. This season has been pretty much the same, except he's thrown more picks. He's already tied his career most with 9 interceptions. He's still great and was a big part of why the Eagles played in the Super Bowl and almost won it. But it wasn't just him. Like with every quarterback, you need weapons to throw to. Mahomes had Kelsey and Hill for a while. Josh Allen has Diggs and Davis. Burrow has Chase and Higgins. Purdy has Sam. Samuel and Kittle, the Eagles realized this and went to draft Devontae Smith and traded for AJ Brown. They became one of the best receiver duos to go along with tight end Dallas Goddard and helped Hurts develop into the superstar he is. This offseason, they traded for running back DeAndre Swift, who has done a great job for them to complete the offense. But offense isn't the only part of football since it is a team sport. They also also made the defense better by signing edge rusher Hassan Redick, cornerbacks Darius Slay and James Bradbury, and drafting defensive tackle Jordan Davis. They went perfectly with the players already on the roster like Fletcher Cox, Brandon Graham and Josh Sweat, but they drafted more players like Jalen Carter and Nolan Smith. They're still a top defense. The final piece of the puzzle is the coaching. Last year they had the best coach coaching staff. Head coach Nick Sirianni was already doing a great job coaching the team. Under him were offensive coordinator Shane Steichen and defensive coordinator Jonathan Gannon. They both were two of the best play callers in the NFL. Because of that, they were both hired as head coaches this past offseason and Sirianni had to get two new ones. He did a great job choosing them as they've been great. There have been some bumps in learning both new systems as expected, but he keeps the team prepared and winning. Can you imagine being the best team in the NFL and not even reaching your full potential yet? Because the Eagles are just getting started.